Hey guys, I got another knife review for you. Right now we're gonna be taking a look at the Spartaco Paramilitary 2. This is the uh, Sprint Run Earth Brown G10 edition um, with the S35VN blade steel. Um, your standard versions are the, uh, the S30V blade steel with, um, you can get a blackened blade, you know, black G10, camo G10, um, and those are your standards, but, uh, Spartaco often comes out with sprint runs of the, the Para 2, and they have a few different blade steels and different handle colors, and this is the, uh, this is one of the recent ones, um, I just, uh, happened to run by this on the, uh, the USN for a really good price, and, picked it up. This is my first paramilitary too, and uh, it definitely will not be my last because this is an awesome knife. I've always wanted a paramilitary too. The designs just intrigued me, and uh, it just looked like something that was really functional and very, uh, you know, comfortable. And I just love the design of it. I love the, the closed shape of it. I don't know, it just it looks, uh, it looks pretty sweet. It looks better than um, a normal knife to me when it's in its closed position um, and also in the open position it's pretty sweet as well just all around a, uh, a good looking knife so um, I just got this the other day I haven't really uh, you know put much use on it so this isn't going to be a, a full-fledged reviews most of my reviews are just pretty much really just first impressions so let me just run over some of the specifications real quick the uh, overall length is eight and a quarter inches so it's a you know it's a medium decent sized folder um, it's uh, got a blade length of 3.44 which is you know your standard medium you know, three and a half inch blade it's got a cutting edge of 3.08 inches because the, the edge doesn't extend all the way back here um, to the choil because it does actually have a, a very nice choil here um, that allows you to choke up on it real nice get an awesome crazy secure grip with some nice jimping so the uh, the blade doesn't actually or the edge doesn't exactly uh, come back to the handle but that's fine because I would much prefer have this uh, this awesome grip over having a, a full edge going to the, the uh, rear of the blade um, the closed length is 4.81 inches, not that that really matters. Again, the, uh, the blade steel, S35VN, it's pretty much your new and improved S30V. It's got these, uh, earth brown G10 handles, which just, in my opinion, look absolutely incredible. It's a, it's a beautiful color. My only complaint, it's not really a complaint about these handles, it's just that I don't really like this kind of G10 the uh, the fine texture you know it's not aggressive um, which I don't really need an aggressive texture I mean it's not that's not gonna come out of my hand if I'm holding it so it's not really the texture that bothers me but when you have a fine texture like this uh, it was pretty much the same thing with my uh, my civilian um, the G10 tends to mark up pretty easily because the uh, the ridges are just so tiny that you know if you you scratch it or rub it against something, it'll just flatten you know the ridges and it'll leave a, a nice mark um, that is forever there on the uh, on the handle. So if you want to keep it pristine looking, you just have to be careful with the G10 because uh, it marks up pretty easily when it has a, a very fine pattern on it, like like so. Um, so, as I showed you before, it's got some, it's got a very nice choil um, that gives you an incredible grip on the knife, and the, uh, the the blade shape is just awesome. I love this this straight line um, for the spine, and then the uh, the belly on the knife is just incredible. It's got one of the most uh, pronounced bellies I've ever seen. Um, as far as the middle of the uh, edge goes because you can see it's kind of concave almost it, it goes in at both ends 
so it's almost like a, it's like dips. It's really cool. So that just makes an incredible, uh, incredible slicer. Um, the jimping is pretty good. As I said, you have it on both sides of the choil. You got it here on the thumb ramp, and you got it on the bottom choil. And you also have a uh, a little inset run of jimping that's uh, part of the liners, which also provides some traction. This is the compression lock. Um, this is my first experience with the uh, compression lock. When I first got the knife, the uh, compression lock was rather uh, stiff, hard to maneuver. Um, but I think it's worn in a little bit more. It still is kind of uh, difficult, not difficult, but it's, uh, it takes some force to engage. And I guess it, you can say it takes a little bit more force than a typical liner would. But I think that is in some part to blame for the fact that you don't use your thumb. You have to use your index finger and there's less, uh, there's less material to engage. So it kind of just, uh, you know, makes it seem like it's a little bit more difficult. Um, I also needed to uh, loosen the pivot when I got it because it was, uh, it was a little bit tight. It wasn't as smooth as I would like it to be. So um, I did that. I don't really, honestly, I don't really like this pivot system with the, uh, the, the two side um, screws. But, uh, I mean, it's fine. It just means that you have to have two uh, two screwdrivers that fit this, which is kind of a pain in the ass. But uh, I had to, so it doesn't matter. And here you can see the, the designer's uh, marks. You got the Eric Glasser and Sal Glasser. Um, you got Golden Colorado USA Earth. It is a USA made blade, which is another plus. You have your typical Spyderco hourglass stainless steel clip which is four-way positionable right side down up left side down up you've got a very huge huge uh, lanyard hole here the largest one I've ever seen on a knife um, you can definitely fit you probably fit two or three strands of I bet you, you could fit three strands of uh, 550 through there and also the um, the spider hole is freaking huge it's uh, definitely the largest spider hole I've ever had on a spider co you know you can stick your I can stick my pinky halfway through the dang hole it's huge I have pretty uh, fat fingers um, what else is there to say it's got uh, stainless steel like um, I guess you can call them sort of like nested liners a kind of inset into the uh, the handle you can see that they're milled out pretty nicely on both sides um, I think it's milled out in one spot on this side and then you can see two spots on this side you have uh, just one standoff here in the, the middle of the blade and then you have the um, the lanyard tube you can hold it uh, back here you know for your standard grip you can uh, choke up on it and put three fingers behind the choil and one uh, ahead of it. Either way you have a, a very nice sturdy grip and it's just a very comfortable ergonomic knife that also looks incredibly cool in my opinion. Let me just uh, give you a quick size comparison. I just have uh, my two uh, striders here close so that's what I'll do. There's another brown G10. Pretty similar actually in, in shades of color. Here's my Strider SNG. So you can see that the uh, pair of two is actually quite a bit bigger. Eh, maybe about half an inch bigger than the, uh, the Strider SNG. And obviously a ton bigger than the uh, Strider PT. Um, that's pretty much it. I don't have anything else to say. It is an awesome, awesome knife. I'd say it's worth the price because it's uh, it's definitely a quality knife that you know I think 
looks awesome and is incredibly functional. It's not just a, a knife that's designed to look awesome and uh, it's, it's a knife that is designed to work and also look awesome so that just makes it a, uh, a big plus in my book. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, please like the video and also subscribe to my channel. I got some more knife reviews coming up. And uh, thanks for watching.